Hi Pisces, welcome and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's see what messages come through for Pisces and love. Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Never try to impose a reading on your situation. If it's meant for you, you're going to connect to it naturally. Let us tune in and see what's coming up for Pisces. Beautiful. Page of Swords, Heavy Spine Pisces. You want to know something or someone is trying to look for your information? okay this also shows some gap in silence that's why there's kind of excitement to know about the activity of other person two of pentacles wishy-washy confused again you know when you're heading towards a decision two of swords yes no matter what option you pick you always think that the other one was better this happens to most of the people. The thing that we pick up is always the thing that later on we think, <laughs> maybe I've made the wrong choice. Maybe I should have considered more. It's a wishy-washy energy, right? That, and that's never, going to, that's never going to go. Ultimately, I see right now things are very confusing. Listen to your intuition. A lot of uh, activity is going on in your mind. Nothing is visible on the ground per se. But a lot of activity is going on in your mind. There's confusion. There is a blindfoldedness also. So let us see what was the background of the situation, Pisces. Why are you so confused? Five of Wands, Strength and Six of Pentacles. There's a conflict about a confession of love. Knight of Cups. Maybe this person sent you some messages or you're about to receive some messages. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Water and Earth energy on the table, right? I see Earth, Water, this is Leo energy here. So I see that something came in, some messages came in and that brought in a lot of conflict on your mind. There is a big struggle going on whether to invest or whether to hold back. Strength energy is a resistive energy, holding back, not opening up. Six of Pentacles energy is a feeling that, if, am I doing too much, you know, uh, or which is the right Pentacle to invest here. Both ways I see some confusion and uh, strength energy is holding back, making decision. I, I also see that you're trying to protect your heart. I, I heard this message for someone that I want to protect my heart. I don't want to get heartbroken in this situation and maybe that's the struggle going on. Interesting. Six of Pentacles. Okay, what next? We have Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Four of Cups, Pisces. You're going to have a lot of attention over you. Within a few days, in the upcoming days, I see a lot of eyes turning on you. For some of you, I'm also picking up that this decision is a kind of decision which is bringing a lot of attention over you, right? And you, you're feeling quite defensive about it. Your guards are high. Again, when a lot of people have interest in what, what is going on in your life, some, some kind of uh, discomfort arises. Ten of Pentacles is there. This can be coming from a family situation. Maybe a lot of people of your family, a lot of members of your family are trying to keep a check over the situation. They're trying to know what your decision is. You are in your mind here, whether to invest or not. But I see you very guarded, not because you have to make a decision, but because this decision is in public's eye somehow. Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. That's why I see there's some kind of defensiveness. Four of Cups. And this is somehow turning you a bit uncomfortable, a bit dissatisfied. And this is overthinking also, right? So for some of you, I'm also picking up that you're not liking interference of people. Whatever they're offering to you, I see back-to-back -back suggestions, back-to-back -back empty cups being offered to you. For some of you, this can be proposals coming towards you which are quite empty. You're turning more and more guarded as situation moves forward. Judgment, Magician and Four of Wands, very, very interesting. Wheel of Fortune, for how long? This is so interesting. This is so interesting turn of events, Pisces. 
I see right now you're defensive. You are quite defensive, not because you have to make a decision again, but because people are interfering in the situation and I see you are somehow getting very irritated because of this fact. For some of you, I'm also picking up that you were waiting for a response or you were, wait you were trying to work with a particular person. But uh, somehow because of the interference of third parties and outside influences, the situation was giving rise to a lot of conflict. Maybe the conflict was not between the two, you, two of you who are in love, who are thinking about the partnership, who are willing to work together. The conflict was not between you both. The conflict was basically rising because of the people in the surroundings, right? Because of their opinions, their suggestions, and their pokiness. The moment this judgment calls, the judgment call comes in. The moment this person tries to connect to you, or the moment this person tries to open up with you, I see things are going to sort out this way, just so quickly. This this wheel of fortune moment is taking place. I see because this person was not opening up till now, there was a lot of silence and there was a lot of activity going on in your mind and the influence of outside world, things were just building up on your mind and uh, it wasn't that much, the much you were thinking, right? So magician energy, I see things are turning really positive now. You are taking the charge of the situation. The moment you get this call, the partnership revives or... Um, I see somehow your energy and your pride is rising in the situation. I see ascension here. King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, I see ascension here. I'm strongly picking up Pisces that the moment this revival takes place, the moment this uh, rising from the ashes kind of energy, something from the past, because of which a lot of people were looking at you, something is going to get revived, right? This can be uh, getting a call for job opportunity, getting a call of revival of a connection, getting an interview call for a job, or whatever this is, the moment it comes up, I see you'll turn magician. This is going to be a point where that manifestation is going to take place, where your self-respect is going to rise, your job skills, your ideology, your work is going to get respected now. So very interesting, I see four of wands, this is definitely stability. So Pisces, I see that you're going to manifest stability passion and some connection in your life if this was job interview I'm, I'm, he I'm hearing job interview for some of you i see you're going to get successful be the fortune your destiny is supportive here so definitely something is going to happen in your favor and a lot of people who used to keep an eye over this situation who were checking on spying energy I see they're going to get an answer very soon. For your fonts energy, you're moving towards beautiful partnership. You're manifesting some partnerships. Some partnership is getting revived here. Your active role, I see here, your active role, right? Very interesting messages. Towards the end, things are going to turn around really positive. So no matter what people say and how much mental struggle they're causing right now, I see success will be yours. What is this struggle two of pentacles wishy-washy energy? What is this two of pentacles energy? King of pentacles. Something related to your financial matters, financial stability, independence, nine of pentacles. For the rest of you, this can be related to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you're dealing with. You're hoping to achieve some kind of... Uh, Emotional, mental, and financial stability here. Here. High Priestess, very interesting. Someone was keeping quiet, and I see because you were not getting an open response from something, maybe this is the response you're waiting on to, which is of course coming. Because someone was very quiet and silent, I see a lot of wishy-washy energy here. Seven of Cups, interesting. Queen of Cups energy is here. For some of you, the reason behind this wishy-washy quiet energy was that someone was keeping their options open. For the rest of you, this can be the energy where someone was very confused about moving forward or working. Maybe they were lacking the plan, the idea, the will also sometimes to work over something. And uh, because you were making the effort in the first go, fingers were being pointed on you queen of cups and you were feeling very emotional about it i see pisces energy here 
what is this conflict on your mind star someone at heart you always knew that this is going to ha happen right star with the judgment call you always knew that this is going to happen in my favor this is going to be a revival and destiny is going to support me you had the signs you had the signals your angels your intuition was telling you this continuously but then what was the strength energy two of cups this can be about love this can be about partnership for some of you i also heard that uh, there was some kind of on and off struggle going on between your between you and your partner the the one you're dealing with or the one you wanted to deal with there was something on and off going on and uh, i see that that struggle was not ending in past now i, I see you moving towards a closure here you have two of swords that was the energy which was keeping you confused blindfolded temperance i see you needed balance some of you i'm picking up stepped back because you needed balance in this situation especially because the one you wanted to deal with the one wanted to work with was taking too much time to make a decision because of this confusion you somehow realized that the better thing right now is to step back and hold back six of wands energy a lot of a lot of cards showing me that your self-respect was under attention a lot of people were focusing on you and this was somehow freaking you six of wands energy this is not ego Pisces. this is not the combination of ego this is self-respect i see world with the queen of pentacles very interesting energy I see idle partnership here. You were considering someone as your idle partner. You thought that this is going to be a partnership which is going to last long. World energy, but before that you have to end some cycles. You realize that I will have to end some cycle. Six of pentacles in reversed. For some of you, I heard that you stepped back and stopped putting effort. The effort from your side came to bear minimal. I see hermit energy. There are some questions. There is some kind of defensiveness. What is this Nine of Wands energy? Why are you holding back and resisting this? Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, Hierophant energy. Okay, lovers. For some of you, I see there's a revival of uh, a connection from the past. So this, this new energy coming towards is bringing choices in your life, Pisces. I see Earth and Air energy here. Someone is coming back to commit. I see someone who was really a kind of player in the past, who was in and out. Uh, yeah, I see playerish energy here. I pick up non-committal energy and the Hierophant energy here. Lovers. Wheel of Fortune popped out of the deck. Interesting. This is the point where things are going to turn around, Pisces. I see something changing. Maybe the one who is too confused, blindfolded, keeping options open, is now turning towards commitment, is now realizing that this is not going to take them anywhere. They ultimately will have to settle down and bring their expectations down. I see someone was poking your self-respect because you realize that this person is keeping options because they have very high expectations. Be the fortune, making decision to a fawn's energy. I see family gathering, coming together, meeting. What is this Wheel of Fortune? What are the turn of events here? Emperor and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, ego. Ego here. I see someone's effort is decreasing. From 10 to 5, someone's effort is coming down and this is going to bruise your ego a bit. For some of you, I see this person is very egoistic, the one you're dealing with, very egoistic. And because of that, your effort I see someone's effort is coming down from 10 to 5. What is the judgment call? What is the judgment call? I see a call for revival here. Empress, beautiful. 10 of wands and the 8 of wands. I see under someone's pressure, I see authority here. Under someone's authority, someone's pressure, there can be a forced conversation. This is going to happen out of a force. I see someone is forcing the other person to talk, to convey a message, to initiate a conversation and fool. But after that force, that push, things are going to take shape. 
things are going to start moving forward till now i see there was stagnance for most of you i i see that there's a struggle related to ego clash what is this magician you're trying to manifest this beautiful relationship we have two of wands lovers and the eight of swords very interesting energy ace of wands it's time to make the decision Pisces. i see now you have the required skill you have the caliber and you have the knowledge till now you were confused and wishy-washy because you were lacking some kind of background check now you're coming to this point where you have the required skill and knowledge to make the decision and i see opportunities i see options also for some of you i see you have to pick the right thing out of two i see crossroads energy here this is going to confuse you for a moment but four of wands you're moving towards stability Pisces. ace of wands energy here what is this four of wands Three of Cups, King of Swords, Hanged Man. Very interesting. Ten of Swords here. For some of you, I'm picking up that someone is losing patience. In the upcoming days, you might feel that this person is losing patience and they want things to happen very quickly. On your part, I see you bal I see you that I see that you need balance. One person is turning very impatient and the other person wants balance in the situation. Three of Cups. I do see reconciliation call. I do see a call for meeting up again. I see two people coming back together to meet. But there's so much ego I'm picking up in the situation that it keeps on falling again and again. From 10 to 5, again 10, then again 5. I see the effort keeps on falling because of someone's ego. Who is this egotistical person? Meditation brings answer. Listen to your intuition. Pisces, you already are very intuitive. Pisces is a very intuitive sign. And uh, out of this confusion, the universe wants you to calm down and meditate. Maybe things are already in front of you. You just have to figure out the right direction, right? It's like a maze in front of you. You just have to find the answer. You just have to find the path. It's already in front of you. If you believe, strong law of attraction at work, listen to your intuition again, meditation, intuition. I see it's time to step back and think about the situation from the scratch. I see a lot of intuitive work, a lot of uh, meditation work is needed in this, while dealing with this particular person. transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all the things so about this lovers about this uh, love connection i see things need transformation a lot of understanding needs to be built up a lot of conversation is needed i see lack of conversation and ego issues are mainly destroying this connection at the moment soulmate this one is your soulmate pisces the one you're dealing with is your soulmate definitely the so your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges trust transformation occurs through patience once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform a lot of transformation i'm picking up is needed in this situation because the things are wishy-washy 10 5 10 5 again i'm picking up that cycle reflection give each other some time give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best amazing I'm strongly getting this message, Pisces, that it's time to step back for a moment. Step back and think about the situation from the scratch. I see there is emotion, there's compassion between you both, but something is not balanced yet. There needs to be 
some trust building activity that there needs to be some uh, confidence building activity that I am picking up that is needed between you both I see despite of love maybe the poor conversation or uh, the lack of communication is causing a lot of mess in the situation so these are the messages I have for you Pisces thank you so much guys for watching bye bye